Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ruby tutorial number 12. In this tutorial, I am going to mess up with few codes with Ruby class. Now let's begin our coding. First, let us define a class. Class name smart herd. There is an end statement to end the class and in between we are, we are going to write the codes. Let us define a method. My method. Fine. Then inside the method, let us print a statement. Put us hey my owner is shrieks. Yo, buddy. Now here is the end of this method, and here is the end of the class smart herd. Now let us create an object my object equal to smart sorry or strong smarter dot new fine now here we have created an instance of this class smarter by creating an object my object this object this my object has the right to access this method which is my method so in order to access that method we have to call that method by my object dot here you can see by default it is showing some values my method you can type my method here or simply click on it my method now let's save the program and execute it here we go here we get the output hey my owner is tricks now let us define another method def my second method fine put s hey i am second right no props let's call this method also my object dot my second method let's save it and execute it here we go hey my owner is Rex. hey I am second in this way you can call a method function sorry class function using an object now in Ruby everything in Ruby is an object this is an object my object this put is an object this hey I am second is a string which is an object float numbers are object integers are object now let me show you by some examples now let us strike this off my object my method we are done with it now let me type my object dot class so this will show us to which class this object belong to here we know that it belong to smarter but let's check it out put us my object dot class save it printed it is showing yes I belong to class smart herd now let's try something different instead of my object let's write this string control C control V this is a string till this portion dot class this is going to show us the class to which this string belong to bingo the string belong to class string now let's write an integer value 12 I guess yeah save it executed this 12 belong to class fix num now let's try a floating value dot 0 yeah 12.0 is a float value dot class save it executed this belong to class float now let's try a boolean value true save it executed yeah it belongs to a boolean class true class now let's try for false false belong to false class true class and false class belong to a class of boolean boolean function now let's try what I am missing now let's try this put s dot class save it execute it it belongs to null class Again, print dot class, save it and execute it. Pretty boring stuffs are going on, but still I have to tell you, this is also in a class. 
Now suppose guys you want to print this double quotes ding dong ding dong suppose you want to print ding dong along with these double quotes then what you will do if you simply write this ding dong here control C copy and paste control V ding dong you save it and execute it you will get the simple ding dong you won't get the double quotes for that you have to precede these things with the escape characters like this and then again enclose the ding dong in this double quotes yeah here we go if you're not getting it then I'm giving some spaces so this backslash won't be executed and because this is an escape character let's save it and execute it here you will get a ding dong with the double quotes this this is just letting the interpreter to know that this whole statement you have to print like this so we are getting the output like this now what if, if you want to print a five times let's see these are the small things which I am telling you in all the tutorials suppose we are having string star 5 then if you remember in the previous tutorials I told you what will be the output this will print a five times like this so in this tutorial guys we learned how to call and method of a class through an object how to get the class name of an object that is print get s my object string float whatever you can so in next few tutorials I'm going to talk about classes and classes and classes you will masters in classes so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe thank you